An invasion of wild brides seeking nothing but money inheritance is really what makes James realize that love come from the heart, not out of pocket. The movie starts with a scene of wild horses running. This represents all the single men who are free to do whatever they want and eat from whatever grass they want. Of course this has a metaphorical meaning. Marriage is represented as some sort of bad thing that takes away a man's freedom. James Shannon is the type of guy that thinks like that. But little does he know that he will be valuing love at the end of the story. James and Anne's love story begins in a rather odd way. Who would have thought that breakups could bring people closer? James and Anne are breaking up with their partners in the same restaurant, sitting opposite of each other, unknown of each other's existence. Jimmy is breaking up with his 35th girlfriend. Yeah, can you believe that? Well, it's hard being a handsome and rich young gentleman. Let's go back to the story. James and Anne are left alone at their tables as their exes had already left. Anne sees James and says that she has a sudden urge to have lunch with him. James is very fond of that idea. It's a love at first sight type of thing for the young people. They enjoy their lunch and go to the park to share a cupcake. How romantic now isn't it? Love is just so simple. James feels like he had finally found his favorite grass again. His friends had a tradition that was fairly odd. Whoever catches the bride's bouquet has to get married in a month. As James's friends get married they are presented as horses that are tied down in the marriage rope and their freedom is taken away from them. How ridiculous right? Well James gets this luck as well. After three years of a loving relationship, one day at a wedding as such, and catches the bouquet. This is the end for James as even the thought of marriage is miserable to him. He rushes home and takes the box of pictures with his ex-girlfriends to get rid of it. As ridiculous as this is, James justifies his box by saying that if he gets married, he can't enjoy other wild grass again. We later learn that he got his behavior from his grandfather. As he engages into a conversation with him, he orders James to get married and have children now. His grandpa tells him that he was a wild horse once but had to sacrifice his freedom to expand the bloodline. James reveals that he had the ring already prepared and would love to propose to Anne tonight. The night comes and a whole disaster is ahead. Here comes the worst proposal in history. James goes on about his willing to sacrifice for some things and the loss of others. He claims that he wanted to remain a wild horse but Anne had won in the end. He says you win to Anne and puts the ring on the table. When Anne asks what she had won, James says words that should never be mentioned at a proposal. He says that you can't just stick to one toilet without pooping. Anne is offended and takes it as James is calling her a toilet. Anne realizes that James doesn't want to get married yet. He wants to remain a wild horse. She leaves James and goes to her best friend's place to vent. That's what friends are for. From then on she keeps receiving flowers every day. The flowers are from James as some sort of an apology. The whole city finds out about James' proposal, making fun of him and quoting his toilet line. Some time passes and James' grandpa passes away. Anne visits James to pay her condolences to him. They make up again and their relationship goes well. James' grandfather was a very rich man, with a lot of fortune. All was about to be inherited by James, but his grandfather was a tricky man setting up some requests that needed to be fulfilled in order to receive the money. James had to be married by his 30th birthday. The marriage has to last at least 10 years and they can be separated once a month. And probably the worst one is that he has to have a child in the first five years of the marriage. James is upset and is fuming. Want to know what the trickiest thing is? James's 30th birthday is tomorrow. He has to get married till 6 p.m. or he has to say goodbye to $1 billion. James immediately goes to propose to Anne, but has no luck as Anne had left for a vacation. He runs to the airport and manages to catch up to her. He proposes to her but as Anne's asking him some questions, the wild horses appear back in his mind. Anne sees that James is not ready to get married yet and leaves him at the airport. James's second proposal had failed and he was planning on giving up on the billion dollars. The shareholders tell James that without the money the factories would have to close and hundreds of people will lose their jobs. They come up with a plan as they take out the box of pictures of his ex-girlfriends to find a girl that will marry James and inherit half of billion dollars. On the other side Anne is furious, she decides to cancel her trip and go back to her apartment. James's quest to find a wife begins. He finds his first ex-girlfriend but she is already married. He goes to the second one. She is a saleswoman and is more than thrilled to marry James as she was still in love with him. The unexpected happens as James sees what he thought to be Anne and runs after her. He catches up to her but realizes it's just a girl that looks like her. He goes back to the saleswoman but finds out that she had set the store on fire due to her anger towards him. James has no luck and is left without a bride. The search doesn't stop there as he goes on to the next one. His next ex-girlfriend is an actress. When he tells her about the million dollars she just laughs at his face and says that she doesn't even need them. Another failed proposal, how many has it been already? Is anyone counting? James continues to the next one. Guess what happens next? He got rejected again. The day had ended and there was still no luck for James. They tried to continue the journey but their car had stopped working. So there they were alone on the bus, looking for a girl to marry. Anna had decided to go back to her apartment but on the way there she and her friend missed the train because they were distracted in a photo booth. They decide to go Anne's parents' place to crash the night. 
They regret the decision immediately as they can't stand the corniness of the couple. On the other side, James has gone to his fourth ex who is a cop. She is a very strong and courageous woman. She realizes that James only wants to marry her for the money and that he doesn't really love her. She rejects him. James goes to see his ex-girlfriend who is a baker. She rejects him by saying that she'd rather marry a waiter than spent any time with him. He is out of hope but decides to propose to an arrogant girl he finds in the aquarium. She is the only one that was convinced by the one billion dollars. James thinks that this is it. He is finally about to get the billion dollars. He will finally make his grandpa proud. But of course, what good can happen to James? As they are about to say yes, she finds out that the marriage has to last 10 years. She thinks about it but agrees to marry him either way. It is when she finds out about a child when she decides to get out of there. James is left single, yet again. He has only 17 hours left to get someone to marry him or he could say goodbye to the money. James's friend is tired of the situation, as he has been helping James with every proposal and decides to make sure that James is married by tomorrow at 6 p.m. He tells James to wait for him at the church tomorrow at 6 p.m. and he will help him propose successfully. On the other side, Anne is fed up by seeing her parents act corny and all. All she thinks about was James, everything reminds her of him. She tries contacting him but he doesn't answer. James and the priest are having a talk. The priest tells James that getting married was the best thing that has happened to him. This is when James realizes that he doesn't want to be the rich single guy anymore. All he wanted was Anne and he was going to get her. Anne is able to contact James's friend. She tells him that she's getting on a train and wants to invite Jimmy to a dinner. James's friend realizes that it's too late, as he had published in newspapers that whoever has come to the church by 6 p.m. is going to get married and receive a billion dollars. All the girls had put on a wedding dress and ran to the cathedral. As it gets crowded James's friend appears in front of the brides and reveals that the whole thing was a joke. The brides don't take that seriously. James has to hide but is unable to escape the money-hungry brides. He manages to escape the church and goes to find Anne at the train station. James had only 40 minutes left to get married or his $1 billion could go to dust. He runs to the station but is chased by the brides. James gets to the train but sees a devastated Anne. She had found out about his billion dollars and her heart broke. James reassures Anne, telling her that she is the most precious gift in his life and expresses his love for her. Anne is finally convinced that James loves her and says yes to his proposal. They hurry to get married. Anne goes into a bathroom to change into a wedding dress. Poor James has to run away from the brides as they find him and start going after him. He ends up climbing a building just to escape the chase. He tries to tell the brides that he doesn't want to marry them but they don't listen. Anne finds her way through the crowd and climbs the building to get to Jimmy. The priest arrives to make sure the young boy gets married in time and gets his $1 billion. The movie ends with Anne saying he's mine to a crowd full of brides. They hug and share a kiss. I guess true love really does go only by heart and not by pocket.